Hi guys, Tristan here with an another video. Um, this one's not in Minecraft, and it's not, you know, anything else. This is in response to a few comments I got on my video, particularly in Instruction, on how do I install it, and uh, how do you do this? I can't find the Minecraft.jar. How do you install mods? So you know, making a video, how to install a mod. For this example, we're going to use Spidercraft. So what you do is you get to Spidercraft, and then you go unleash the spider or whatever you want. Okay, and then download this part's obvious. So you're going to want to open it with WinRAR or WinZip or whatever you got. Yeah, no. And you got to kind of put this to the side, close it. Now, I'm running on Windows 7. What does this mean? This means that you might have a different way of finding ah, you didn't see any of that. You might have a different way of finding it. Um, I don't care if you see that. My name is Tristan Drake. Nice to meet you. Born in Canada, live in Florida. Cool, you know all about me. Okay. Um, what I do, if you're in Windows 7 or XP, I think it works the same. You go app, data, and dollar sign, app data, dollar sign. Cool, you go into there. Now you'll find, whoa, there we go. Okay. First thing, if you're by name, is dot Minecraft. You go into that, then you're presented with this crap. Now, if you want to have a texture pack, you put it in here. Um, I have Dusty Craft and Lucid Pack. I like both of them. Screenshots, you come into here. Like, for example, this is a screenshot I took the other day. Um, that one right there. We're all wearing our uniforms, if you can tell. This is Mineworks. It's our uh, me and those guys. It's our um, Minecraft Machinima. We're going to come up with a video soon. We have a YouTube channel or anything. Back on topic, you go into bin. Now you'll see I have a load of copies. Minecraft copies. Now, now that's what we need. You go into, you'll find your Minecraft.jar. Now before you ever make any alterations, go Control C or just, you know, copy. And then make a bunch of copies. Just in case you screw something up, you'll have all those backups. So now you go into Minecraft.jar, you open with, it's open with right there. You're going to want to open with whatever your WinRAR, 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 WinZip. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a fresh copy of, um, fresh copy, so that I can show you exactly how to do it. So we have this fresh copy open with WinRAR or whatever else you use, like I said. No, I'm not going to buy the full version. Um, so you can have this, and um, for some reason, it never makes you... Um, Oh, whoops. Okay, that was wrong. Let's delete that. See, all those copies I just made were copies of an altered version. So, um, okay, here, this one's pretty legit. This one's not been altered yet. So we're going to open this. Again, open with, um, WinRAR. Cool. This is a fresh version. Okay. You're going to drag it to the side. And the first thing you'll notice is meta-inf meta slash inf, you go into there, see all this crap? You don't need it. So you go back out, press delete. Are you sure you want to delete it? Yeah, yes. Cool, we deleted that. Now you're going to want to open up your spider craft again. Now you're going to take this, you're just going to go burp, 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 ding. So now we have, these are installed. They're in there, don't worry. Um, nothing bad will happen. And that's one way to do it. Um, the other way, is kind of the same, and I'll show you in a few seconds. Alrighty, we're back here again. Now, the second way to install a mod is um, you get something called a mod manager. Here I have Minecraft Mod Manager. It is my preferred one. Now, what you'll do is you'll save the actual zip. You won't have to do any anything like that. So, for this one, we're using MC Region, which actually changes how your game saves files. So, we have it open. I'm sure, we'll um, take out this one, which is helpful. Yes. Now what this does is it automatically goes to your um, Minecraft jar. Well, for some reason it doesn't work with some things like Spidercraft, but it works with a lot of them. So anyways, then you enable it, finish modding, does that stuff. Let's wait. Wait for it. <laughs> Hmm. Awkward. 
silence. Mm. You know what? Let's try this again. See, this might not work because I already, you know, altered it. But it should work. There we go. Okay. You know, it automatically makes a copy, I believe, and then sets everything up. And it's finished. Cool. So now we have that installed. It's a lot simpler, a lot easier. Here's a picture of me in my ghillie suit. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it helps. If you were on a Mac or a Linux, I'm not able to help you. Okay? So that's your bad. Um, however, something I will show you right now is a third way, well, second way, to get to your app data. Let's see. Start out, you'll need to make sure that you have view show hidden files folders and drives okay so you're gonna be here oh yeah so you go into C or whatever your main drive is you go into program you know what no you don't just kidding you go into users you select what user you're on not that app data that that app data is a lie like cake okay it's a lie you go into right now I'm on Brenda which is my mother dun 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 um let's see then we go into app data and then we'll go into roaming and then we're just where we were before minecraft is right there it's so simple and that's everything